never getting off track oh! Oh! Friday Fugazi. Oh, what? What? What's up? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's good? Friday. What is good? Friday. What is? Hello. What's happening? What's good? Um, we got friggin' Storm Dorian coming. It's friggin' Dunk Life, baby. Storm Dorian's coming soon, baby. I gotta prepare. I don't know if I have a friggin'. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I don't know. It's just gonna be a lot of rain. Probably lose electricity. Not too worried about things getting damaged because. Everything I got is portable, as you know, if you watched yesterday's, but what's good? It's Friday, um, it's Friday, and um, it's Friday. I have, I messed up. I effed up Friday, which was the last rap I posted on, I think it was 47. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you for joining. We're here. We're going to have so much fun today, and I hate to tell you that it's going to be the best episode, so this is the best it, it's going to get, because it doesn't get better, but I say that every time, so it only gets better. But right now, it can't because this one's going to be the best. And it sucks because it's so good. Um, I, uh, I fucked up. I put, um, I said, I got my thoughts, top thoughts, got my top changing off in Scotty Pippen. And I meant Dennis Rodman. And nobody told me anything. Nobody helped me out. And it's all posted everywhere. <laughs> and I was kind of confused because I thought... Because some people pointed out some lines that they liked. I really thought some of my friends would have mentioned, oh, that's a funny line. Because I met Dennis Rodman. And he got his hair changes like insane. Everybody knows him for his hair. He's known for his hair. So I thought it was a cool line. Like my thoughts got my brain changing at all times as much as Dennis Rodman's hair. And I didn't notice till I was recording the vlog yesterday. And I went to put like some pictures of him in the vlog because I'm going to put that in sneak peek. I'm going to put that as the intro, that little song, little mini music video. And I put him and I searched Scotty Pippen. I'm like, this is not the right guy. And then, yeah, so I don't know what the hell happened. Next time, help me out. I don't know how you're going to help me out, but um, it was just really funny. I was like, I can't believe I went that long not noticing. But when I wrote it, I loved the line because I'm like, oh, that's really funny. People talk about him a lot. Um, and uh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> and it felt like it felt like something was a little off for a while because I, I think I guess the name like I was like, yeah, that's him. But I, I don't know. I didn't think into it that much. Um, anyway, the thing I wanted to talk about today was really cool, which was uh, I started a podcast yesterday with Joe Rogan. Not that I, I wish that sounded a different way that I meant it. It sounded like I started to record one with him, but I started one with him and Penn Gillette, which is the guy from Penn and Teller. And he was so awesome to listen to. I only listened to the first like 20 minutes or so, but I can't wait to finish it today. Um, but I, what I wanted to tell you was that that guy's always thinking, Penn, like he was talking about so many different people. And I love when someone knows about successful people very well. Like he was saying, this guy, I forget, but just listen to it. He was saying like, this guy's, like he loves when people have no filter. He was talking about Donald Trump on the show, the friggin' uh, Apprentice, I think it was. And he just, he said that he's not like a fan of Donald Trump in that way, but he also would love, loves to listen to him because he's got no filter. So people have no filter in different ways. So some people do it with bravery. Some people do it with drugs. Some people do it with um, brilliance. So it was just really interesting to have that distinction. And I don't, I don't, he like studied people sort of. So I like that. And the other thing he said was a quote by felonious monk that I don't want to mess up. So let me look it up real quick. Um, it was a great quote that I want people by, that listen to this podcast to live by. Seriously, it's that impactful. I like quotes. I think I said it yesterday. I love quotes. I love words put together. Um, and uh, when words come together and there's, they're just, okay. A genius is the one that is most like himself. A genius is the one most like himself. And I love that so much because um, everything I do, whatever it's, it's like whenever I feel like I'm doing the best, it's always like feels the best for me too. Like it feels like the most natural for me. And that's such a funny thing because it feels like you want to be really good at something. But then at the same time, if it's what you're natural at, you're the best at that anyway. So like for me, when I go to like do stand up comedy, some people, some people might have like stage fright. And I used to sort of, I used to think I did at least because everyone did. And I used to in school when I was younger, but when I, when I'm there and I think about being on stage, I actually love it. And a lot of people wouldn't love that because they're the center of attention 
and and like at like a right minded person doesn't seem like they would love to be up there, but being there and getting up there, I would I love the idea of being up there. So yes, it's like oh you, you're ballsy to do it, but at the same time, I feel like it's not even ballsy because it's just something I love and it's like who I am. So it's most who you like to be. So whenever you're doing that's something you have to I I had to get over is like when I do podcasting, when I do dunking, when I do all these different things, you I got to do it the way I do it because. Like, for example, comedians is like when I think of writing jokes, you want to be like other comedians that are great that make you laugh, but you have to do it in your way and you have to do your style. So it might be I'll probably be inspired by a lot of people, but then have my own hints of who you are. And that's that's I think that's the best way to find out what you love to do. And the best way to be successful at what you do is is keep being yourself. And the other quote I like that I always bring up is the Michelangelo one. It's like not becoming yourself. It's chipping away at everything that's not yourself. So speaking of inspirations, Chris D'Elia's podcast, I think his latest one, he was saying he does a silly goose time. That's what this one's about. I know I'm super serious right now, but maybe Storm Dorian's in my head. Maybe friggin' Storm Dorian's in my head. And all I can think about is, Storm Dory and he's gonna come smack my house and I need to prepare and I'm a little nervous and I don't know what to do and he's messing up my plans because storms don't care about your plans that's what I said yesterday but the point is he has a silly goose time Chris Lee was saying other people might have silly goose times but he's number one and I, I'll take that so I'm one of the other ones that we're having a silly goose time right here baby and we do it here and it's fun and I got the vlog coming out soon um, all I did was like vert jumps and one step jumps I'm in rehab mode I went swimming yesterday Dollar Tree goggles because I lost my goggles again. I went to Walmart to buy a pair. They literally, listen to this. They literally, I got a pair from the back. All they had was like adult or kids. They didn't even have any like sport type. You, I thought they would have like a sports goggles. They only had like play goggles. And I'm trying to do sport goggles. I'm not trying to do play, bro. I'm trying to swim hard. Everything I do is hard. So I wanted to swim yesterday to lay off my hamstring, but still get some cardio and also um, try to be explosive and try to go fast. Um, but really lay off the hamstring. It's not healing right now, by the way. So I, I, they didn't have it. So on the way to the gym, I'm like, what do I do? Um, so I, I, and I needed to swim. I, and I know that pool has so much chlorine. I couldn't do it without goggles. So I got Dollar Tree goggles. They were a dollar. That's the only place I knew on the way. I didn't have much time. Because the freaking storm's coming and everybody's busy doing things. Like the traffic is ridiculous. So I get to the gym. I'm wearing the goggles. Or it's getting in my eyes a little bit. And then by the end, I'm just like not even wearing them. And I just swim without them. I didn't swim that much, but then I get home and my eyes were bloodshot. They were hurting. It felt like I scratched both of my freaking corneas. I could barely even see. And when I was driving, <laughs> when I was driving home, I like, I think I stopped at the grocery store. I don't know what I did, but I was driving home and I noticed I like it. I got, I touched my eye and I got like, I think it like dripped in my eye, chlorine or the skin. And I couldn't see out of my right eye as I'm driving. I'm like, what the fuck? It would hurt so bad. It still hurts right now, but it's not as bad. And, um, I was thinking, what if that happened in both eyes while I'm driving both eyes? Cause that one, I literally couldn't open. I was like trying to blink hard and like, like really open it just to be like, uh, 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 uh. And I was like, what if I, what if I just both eyes just went when I was driving? Uh, it was a weird thought, but I was like, that could have happened at any time. I literally could just be driving both eyes gone. I don't know. It was crazy. So hamstring rehabbing, trying to get it healthy. I'm, I'm committed to not jumping. Um, it helps with this. It helps that there's um, the one thing that's helping. The only positive about Storm Dory is that I can't jump right now. So hopefully, like it takes some time. I, I'm going to commit to two weeks. So all of next week, um, I already started like this week. So I think my last jumping day was what's today, Friday. My last jumping day was Sunday. Wait, was it been a week already? No, I think I jumped Monday. I think I jumped Monday, and so I'm going to try to wait till next maybe not next thursday but the next one but i'm really trying to rehab trying to learn about my body it's really painful i might try to get it looked at but if it doesn't make progress in these two weeks i think i have to get it looked at or i have to try something new but i'm really just trying to lay off it no jumping and the reason for that is because it's so tight i was trying to do a very minimal jumping and then the most uh, the rest of rehab with stretching and things like that but I did minimal jumping monday and it hasn't really progressed at all it's just crazy tight i'm talking to all my friends all my network so appreciate everybody, but that's the status. And on my YouTube, I'm going to try to make some fun videos, some more tutorials. Let me know what you want to see. Podcast every day. If if friggin' Storm Dorian comes, he might knock out the electricity, so I won't have the podcast for like uh, probably like a few days, if not. But maybe I'll record something on my phone and upload it. But if I don't have service, I don't know. We'll see. But you know, it's, if 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 I don't record, it's because of friggin' Storm Dorian, and that's that. <laughs> All right, let's do on this day in history. Um, 
Uh, what else? Oh, uh, the other thing I wanted to say that they said on the podcast, which was great, um, was that just like your diet, this was a great way to look at um, awareness of what you're filling your time with. So this podcast is definitely beneficial to your life. So you definitely want to do this every morning. By the way, thank you for all the support. I'm getting the best feedback. I'm getting the best Instagram messages, DMs about people listening and um, starting their day off right or just doing things that they weren't do. That's the most amazing messages ever. So I really thank you. Thanks for all the ratings and the reviews on the podcast. Thanks for the Ponzi scheme growing. You leave those weird reviews. You're in the joke early. You can rate my podcast on iTunes. That really helps. We're getting the, we're growing, bro. We're growing our own little silly goose crew, the silly psychos, baby. We're growing. So what I wanted to tell you was, um, what was I about to say? Uh, oh, so when you have the diet is like when, when you think of what you're consuming, the media you're consuming, um, think of it like diet, right? Is like if you're eating junk food, right? You might have like low energy. You might not be as mentally clear. You don't really notice, but you're functioning almost at a hundred percent. But then if you start eating healthy and, and filling your diet, your gut biome gets healthier. It digests more properly and you feel way better and it might, your mental will be so much better, but you didn't even know that your gut biome was unhealthy until you let it heal. Cause that's like a big part of your diet is it's not just that you those junk foods don't give you nutrients, but your gut biome is all effed up and it leads to so many other problems. But um, you could think of mental like uh, media the same way. So if you're filling your brain with all like negative things and like news and not news, <laughs> not just general news, but like um, horrible things, scary things, just constant negative things, false things like people that post tabloids and all that bullshit, um, then that's going to be in your head. You can't control it, but it's just like what you keep filling your head with. And the next thing you know, you're thinking about, you're thinking in that area. So come to my podcast, have a silly goose time and fucking... And then go after it, read some books, read some positive things, listen to positive people talk. So all day long, you're doing that. Obviously, you want to know what's going on in the world. I don't care, honestly, because I, I have too many goals right now. At some point, I want to like help the world, but I got to focus on me for right now to help the world. That's literally the plan. It's like, get, do what I love and then also like try to improve the world. That's my goal. That's that simple, but it's, I don't know how to get there. I have no idea. What do you do as an entertainer? No idea. You do this, you do this and you got your loyal fans. You got your psycho psychotic people that you spread the word with. So I, you guys, you guys literally make my life happen and we're helping the world and I love it. And it feels so good when someone spreads it. Like when I, I obviously it sounds like a fucking Ponzi scheme and it is, and it's not, that's not a joke. Um, but yeah, Fill your brain with the good stuff. Like like that podcast I'm talking about with Penn and Joe Rogan is like, they're just talking about, he, this is one quote that I want to exactly sp- explain. He was saying he's not a big fan of Trump, but what he says is like, he doesn't agree with people that voted for Trump. But what he said was, those of us that voted for Trump or, or something like that, um, those of us that voted for Trump. So he's not saying like, they're separate people. We're all together. So he says, those of us, because us is like humans and those of us that chose to do that, he doesn't agree with, but it's still part of us. And I think that's huge because if you think of everybody like that, everybody together like that, it changes your view of how we're living because instead of like those people, it's like you're separate, you're over there, there's teams and we're all separate. But if we're all one unit and we just have all different minds, we're, we're always together. And that's the theme of today, always together. So I hope you can understand what I mean by that. It's pretty simple. But what I'm trying to say is that that's a great way to look at the world is that we're always together. And that's how I want to look at the world. Um, Silly psycho of the day. (laughs) That's, that's what it's going to be now. Silly psycho of the day. Um, Anthony Sanchez says, congratulations, dog. Thanks, bro. Um, What was I going to say? That's every time it's in congratulations. I think of my first ever East Bay with the congratulations song and Chris Leah's podcast. Chillax facts. Silly Psycho says, only two dislikes. Nice job, fam. Let's go. And then the last one I really like, Bodis said, because of that freestyle, I'm disliking. Thank you. <laughs> and then, oh, I didn't do, I'm doing this in out of order. Oh, you're watching me mess up. See, I talked about messing up in the beginning of the podcast, and now I'm messing up. See how that works? I messed up on the friggin' rap, and now I'm messed up. So you got to think about, I'm never messing up. I'm perfect. You got to be psychotic. That's the whole point of the mental psychosis. If you go psychotic with it, it's like, I'm perfect, I'm perfect, I'm perfect. And then you work perfect. April 30th. Oh my God, we're almost done with April. There's no early ones. Right, I'm going to read this one. 1590, Tokugawa, Leyasu enters Edo Castle. Okay. Today in film, 1976, Tom Brokaw becomes news anchor of NBA's Today's Show. That guy's famous. Today in music, 1968, first record under Apple label. 
Beatles Hey Jude. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. First Apple record. Let's go. All right, man. Have a great effing day. Uh, let me know what you want to see. Thank you for every watch you make. I appreciate it. And we're doing it, bro. Storm Dorian's coming, but we're going to survive it. I'm going to swim it out and have a great, energetic, loving day. And we'll be back. I love doing this as much as you love listening. I think I love doing it more because if no one was listening, I would still be doing it. I have so many more ideas coming and so many friggin' things. And that's it. Love you. Toodaloo! That's young life. Oh. The anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh!